Dobermans are appropriately regarded as fierce and tenacious guard dogs. And that's true about them. But like every dog, there's so much more to their reputation. It takes a toll on us emotionally, I think. We want everybody to see this version of him because he is super sweet. We love him to death, but we are now desperate for some help. OK, we're going to get to socializing today. I've got a couple of my own dogs are here, and we're just going to get looks at things. Yeah, um, be careful. We will, thank you, yeah, we will. It may seem counterintuitive, but often when we're dealing with dog aggression, the first step in is to allow that dog to spend more time around other dogs that are safe and responsible and well socialized. Nero, good. Yeah, that's a pretty oh, good he response. he's real big and bad, huh? <laughs> thank you. <All> right. <laughs> Take care. Nero knows how to human more than he knows how to dog. So the socialization is a giant step towards addressing that. His tail is pin straight. He's nervous. Come on, buddy. Good. He's a singleton. No brothers and sisters. And so clearly missed that window of socialization. I like the word singleton. I don't yeah. know, is that technical? Yeah, it is. OK. Because Nero's a singleton, he didn't grow up around other dogs socializing. It's a big part of why he's having some behavioral challenges. I'd like to bring Kingston in at the fence. Cool. And start to explore that for him. Great. Because Nero's aggressive behavior is so intense, we have to be very careful, safe, and intentional about how we introduce him to other dogs. Coming in, Kingston. He knew you were coming before you were even at the door. Wow. I'm going to just, like, inch my way. What we want to do is allow Nero to get comfortable with Kingston's presence. Steph will inch Nero close so that he gets a chance to smell Kingston. And if Nero gets stressed and reactive, Steph will help Nero clear out. Nero! And we'll go through that process many times until Nero feels more comfortable in proximity of Kingston. Yep, I'm right here with you. We're going to go together. Good boy. That's good, buddy. Very nice. Excellent, bud. That's excellent. Hey. OK. Let's go again. We got it this time, all right? Going nice and slow. Right here, buddy. Oh, interesting. Oh, look at that. Smelling, smelling. Good. Yep. Yep. That's cool. Cool. Mm -hmm. Giving him some information. Excellent. So here's what we do know Nero got as close as three feet from Kingston without pulling, lunging, barking, growling. And he got there very quickly. So to me, those are a lot of positive small steps. I want to let Kingston smell this. Yeah. And I just kind of want to keep building on this and see if we can't parlay that into closing the distance between the two of them. Come on, buddy. Nero. Good boy. Let's. Nero. Good. Nero. Come on. Come on, bud. <laughs> Did that okay. scare you a little bit? We All it you. took was like two second, too yeah. long stare. Yeah. This isn't unusual behavior for an under-socialized dog. He's acting like he sees every dog as a threat because he doesn't know any better. But setting up safe scenarios like this one will allow Nero to acclimate to having other dogs around. Atta boy, good Nero. Good choice, Nero. I love it, bud. Beautiful. 